Hello everyone, this is Arokya from Easy Tutor. Uh, in this video uh, in Python Telegram bot development series, we are going to see how to schedule uh, our jobs using Telegram job. So you may get a scenario like you need to uh, run specific function or class continuously on specific interval or uh, once after the script got triggered or daily jobs in our bot for that purpose we have a telegram job and job queue here we can utilize that for that purpose so here i am going to demonstrate how to use that uh, job to execute one function on specific interval so let's see these are all same uh, as in previous video the same token you initiate updater dispatcher the only difference is here I have imported job queue from telegram dot extension and I am initiating the job queue. Uh, this will have one bot uh, as an argument. We don't need to give that because it got deprecated. Instead of that we have set dispatcher method. For this uh, if you are going to develop uh, or learn from new or from scratch telegram bot. You can start with this use uh, use set dispatcher method and pass the dispatcher which we created from updater yes now we have our job queue ready and from job queue you have multiple options like run once you can run the callback method only once or you can uh, repeat the callback method on specific intervals or you can run uh, daily by specifying the week uh, the day's number from 0 to 0 1 2 3 for Sunday Monday like that so here I am going to use a run repeating method for that I am calling uh, one callback get covid data and the interval is 60 seconds so whatever you are mentioning here is if you mentioned in numbers or integer it's going to be a number of seconds if you mention a uh, date time stamp it's going to be uh, the relevant date time uh, from the starting time yeah like that it's going to be and here I have given uh, mostly we use a uh, number of seconds to run our inter job on specific interval so here I'm going to wait for 60 seconds and run that job again so now this is as usual you create one message handler and uh, add one dummy method for our testing this I am uh, doing here because to show you this uh, message handling or command or uh, conversation handling anything these handlers are going to be run at the same time the job is also going to get executed so for to demonstrate that I have uh, added one simple message handler which is going to just echo what we send so just update message message dot reply text and the text which i sent to the bot update dot message dot text okay this get covid data function i have uh, one free api uh, api dot covid 19 api dot com slash summary this will be giving you the country wise data from there i have fetched the top 10 uh, active cases or confirmed cases you can see these are all uh, the globally the total cases and country wise the total cases for each country we have different metrics I have taken the total confirmed and I have sorted and got the top 10 countries from this API so that's what I have printed here and uh, end of that I just print was some 50 hashes to denote that got completed okay now let's see first after starting let's print the current date time date time dot now okay this is to check after how long uh, from the time we trigger the script the job is getting started to check that we are uh, printing this here and after that once we start this covid data let's print this and see job started at okay this one okay now 
same thing I am going to put at the end end it this why I am doing this is to check after uh, 60 seconds whether the job is starting or not we can see the date time stamp here so I am printing at the starting and ending uh, place of our function callback function so let's run this I'm running one sec and delete run python file in terminal okay so it printed the data so why it's not starting the job now is the 60 seconds while starting also it will wait for the 60 seconds then only it will start the job now we can know this time is 16 6 it should start by 16 7 the job now at the same in the meantime we will interact with our bot okay what is my easy to talk about okay now if you say hi how are you it will be returning the same thing to you so our message handler also working and the job also should be executing now so let's see at 16 7 it should trigger the job because I have given 60 seconds because if I give 10 seconds or 20 seconds noting the difference will be a little difficult so I have given uh, 60 seconds now it got triggered and fetched the data sorry uh, you can see here yes 16 6 and 16 6 59 second it triggered the job okay it got ended at 16 7 so now the next schedule of this uh, script should start by uh, 16 8 because the interval we have uh, mentioned here is 60 seconds so like that you can continuously fetch some data for maintenance or you can monitor some services for any uh, uh, change you can instruct uh, the connected user through chat so this kind of stuff can be done through this jobs job queue so this okay it got started you can see 7 7 59 it got started so then another uh, the next schedule it will be on 8 9 okay we can stop this now so th up to this point we have seen in the last video start polling uh, once you declare this run repeating job you can start the job here after start polling the problem is you should make sure you are uh, starting the job after the start polling if you uh, uh, do this like in uh, vice versa it won't work meaning like the job will be running but your message handling will not be running so you can experiment that so this is how we configure jobs and we use uh, the repeated schedules for uh, for the different purposes so that's it for this video we'll meet you guys in another video thanks uh, thanks much for watching if you like this video please do subscribe like and share